Hello and welcome. This is Anna's Travel Talk and I'm your host, Anna Hoy, and I'm passionate about travel and I'm also a travel advisor and owner of Vacations by Anna. And this is the place where my goal is to inspire, educate and entertain you all about travel. So joining me today, I have Aideen Mulholland and she is a business development executive with Club Mad. And we're gonna talk about the brand new Sandpiper Bay. Are you excited as I am? So let's Absolutely. welcome Aideen. Thank you, Aideen. Hi, everybody. Hi, thank you for having me on, Anna. Thank you for joining us. I'm excited to learn all about the brand new Sandpiper Bay. And I believe it opened in June, if I'm not mistaken. Well, it reopened, yes, after we had closed down for a few months due to the um, COVID. Um, it reopened with all new health and safety measures, which I'm going to touch on today. Um, you know, because of the social distancing and uh, uh, we really have put in really good measures for both our um, GOs our, and our GMs, our guests. So we'll go over that today. Wonderful. And I know that, I believe that Club Man has been the 2019 winner of Traveler's Choice by TripAdvisor. You've won many awards, including 2019 Best Hotel by US News and World Report. So those are impressive. And I'm excited to learn a little bit more. Okay. So well, let's start a little mm -hmm. bit with the hygiene and safety measures that you alluded to. Well, as I mentioned, we had closed the resort for um, a few months due to the pandemic. And we, uh, what we did we, when we reopened, now just so you know, um, our staff at the property um, are, at Club Med are called GEOs, okay? And our guests are called GMs. So um, we, the health and safety of our guests and our staff is the most important thing. So we've put in a lot of me measures. We actually um, have uh, acquired the services of a company that goes in and does the whole um, social distancing um, and advises us on a daily basis of how to keep um, our guests um, safe and our, our geo safe. So what I wanted to do is actually show you a quick video um, and it'll give you an idea of what the, the, the measures that we have actually put in place. Okay. Fabulous. Yes. Let, I'll begin. I, th I think that sort of explains um, how Club Med is, has reacted to this. And I, uh, 
we're getting great comments from our guests on property. Um, the, as I, the video sort of says it all, uh, but we've elevated the safety measures. All of our GOs are wearing masks uh, and, and we have the plastic uh, screens up at check-in and we can do virtual check-in and all of that. This team is completely trained. We have um, some we have many activities and many sports available at Sandpiper. Sandpiper is our flagship sports uh, resort as we are a very ac ac um, active brand. Um, we have tennis, we have, uh, we have the uh, driving range open, we have the circus, that's all still open at Sandpiper. Now, I'm focusing on Sandpiper Bay today, um, but we do have um, many other resorts all around the world. Um, a lot of them are still closed. We're reopening Cancun, uh, and Punta Cana on October 17th, which is great news. And all of these measures will be um, in, in place at all of these resorts. We've been around for 70 years, so we're, we know these things. We've been through a lot of um, things, so we do uh, these things very well. Yes, okay. and you are family oriented, so keeping that in mind, and I'm, I'm impressed with the measures that you guys have implemented and put in place as far as hygiene and yeah. safety protocols to make sure that the guests and the staff uh, mm -hmm. feel safe. Absolutely. And um, Club Med, we were the original all inclusives, okay? So a lot of these areas that we're in, um, we were the first ones in there. So we have a lot, a lot of property. Okay, so like for example, at Sandpiper, there's one acre for every five GMs, for every five guests. So there's a lot of um, uh, density in our resorts. We have lowered our occupancy, so there's not as many guests. Um, so the capacity of our resorts now is probably about 60 to 65. Um, as I said, Sandpiper in our North America area is the only one open at the moment, but uh, several are following in October 17th and then uh, November and then December. Okay. Wonderful to hear. Yay. Yeah, I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> Me too. Um, okay, so um, this is just give you, uh, again, an idea. Uh, five GMs per acre at full capacity and Turks, 10 GMs per acre. That's Turks and Caicos, which is opening um, on October 17th also. And that's our adult only resort. Um, well, on the best beach, on Grace Bay Beach in uh, Turks and Caicos, and then Punta Cana, 18 GMs per acre at full capacity. But w remember, we're only opening at 60 to 65 capacity. Right. Again, just the, uh, the staff are wearing a protective mask, they're sanitizing, a lot more deep cleaning, social distancing, lots of foot markings all over the resort, um, and daily temperature checks. And again, we have a doctor or a nurse available 24-7. That's wonderful. So I, I have a quick question for you. Uh -huh. So in yes. regards to housekeeping, um, it's my understanding that some um, hotels and resorts are offering the opportunity to forego daily housekeeping. Um, how are you guys handling housekeeping services? Well, as I say, extra, um, I mean, that's always an option. We don't, we, you, you don't force anybody to, uh, you know, to go in and do, uh, uh, maintain their, their room. Um, but these days, these days and times, I don't think we're getting a lot of pushback. Um, but again, there's always a sign, do not disturb and all that. But um, we're, again, we're not getting a lot of pushback. And the uh, housekeeping is really uh, going in with a deep uh, cl cleaning of um, all the rooms. And we're actually getting really great feedback from our guests. Oh, that's good to hear. Thank you. Well, I'm ready to hear all about Club Med Sandpiper Bay. Okay, and again, today we're focusing on Sandpiper Bay. Um, so Sandpiper is our, it's the only all-inclusive in the USA, and it's based in the heart of Florida. It's at Port St. Lucie. So it's like 90 minutes from Orlando and Miami, but like 45 from West Palm Beach for those flying in. Um, we do get a lot of um, local uh, guests and we have free parking on site. Um, it's perfect for families. Um, we have a children's club for all ages. Um, starting at four months. So we have a, a, like a baby club where the guests um, can bring their little infants and they can go to the club. Um, there's just four different, and I'm not going into all the detail, but we have four different um, children's clubs for all different ages. Activities are fantastic. It's not like they're sitting there playing their computers or whatever. They can do sailing, they can do painting. You know, there's lots of activities for our children. We do have programs like our Club Med Amazing Family where they can, they, Kids can meet up with their parents and do like we have a splash activity, you know, different activities. So 
there's options for everyone. Um, again, it's a, a, a great resort for all, if for families, couples and singles. Um, we have an adult only inclusive um, infinity pool. We have unlimited gourmet cuisine. And as you've seen in the video, we sort of are doing a single plating because Club Med was famous for its gourmet buffets, but now we're doing a lot of single plating, which is working out very well. Chefs are standing behind the screens and everybody's, you know, um, we're getting great uh, uh, feedback back on the, the organization of our restaurants. So that's yeah. wonderful to hear because I know some of my um, clients are concerned about if they can still have as great a time as they did before and still enjoy all the amenities. So it's good mm -hmm. to hear that they can still enjoy all the gourmet food and all of the facilities um, just with a few modifications. Yes, and we do have, um, for example, we, again, we're a very active resort, so we do have um, lessons available, tennis, golf lessons, they're still available. We do still have the spa um, that is located in Sandby Prepe. It's by appointment only, of course, um, so that's still available also. Nice. So... We, we, as we said, we reopened June 12th with full deployment and we have this, we're calling it our Safe Together protocols. So um, for the food and beverage, we actually um, uh, opened up more outside seating. So there's a lot of um, uh, social distancing going on in the restaurants. We actually, at the moment, our uh, specialty restaurant, we actually um, closed that down for the moment and um, just so we could op open the outdoor seating on that. So a lot of measures have been put in uh, to ensure we do social distancing distancing um <laughs> yeah, our, yeah uh, again our sports our golf uh, tennis water sports trapeze the pools are all open we have yoga we have spinning classes you know that's all still um taking place um the sh yeah the shows and the concerts a lot of them are taking outside are uh, being taken outside for example we have the circus over the pool like, so the, the trapeze people do a show over the pool. We have um, movies under the stars. We have comedians on outside stage, things like that. So there's still a lot of entertainment for everyone. And just so you know, we do actually offer um, daily passes to Sandpiper um, and we offer private uh, events and weddings. And that's still, again, our conference space is there. It's doing, going through the whole deep cleansing and all that. So it's all available. Great. And that's, this is just to, you know, these are based the COVID-19 measures and what um, Club Med has actually done. So um, again, I think the video sort of explained it all. Yes. Now a question for you in regards uh -huh. to, um, I know that you said Sandpipers open and that several others are going to start opening in October and then November and December. So mm -hmm. when should people book? They can start booking right now. So oh, when absolutely. should people, yeah? Okay. Right now. Yeah, pick up, absolutely. Pick up you and call you right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then a second question for you. So, and they should call now and book. Are there any revised cancellation policies in the event that something does go awry? Is there any revisions to that? Absolutely, absolutely. We have um, cancellation policies set, set in place, and depending on when the booking's made and things like that, which um, uh, we, when you're making a, a reservation, of course, Anna, I'll inform you of all of that, that. And there's different. Uh, I mean, I could st uh, talk all day about it, but it's just we are very um, uh, flexible. Okay, so, so flexible so cancellation policies. Absolutely. Good to hear. Absolutely. I think it just gives people peace of mind. The two things that you mentioned here today is the safety uh -huh. protocols and the, the, the uh, flexible cancel policies. It helps people feel more comfortable booking right now. I mean, that Absolutely. looks like a place I want to be right now. Wouldn't you agree? I know. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to give you a little over a, a, a view of that. This is you're inspiring um, us here with these photos. Now this, as it's called Sandpiper Bay, it's not actually on a beach, it's on a little bay, but we still have all our water sports available. And um, for those people who want a beach, a beach is 10 minutes away. Um, um, and as I said, there's a, a lot of people who go to Florida, if you're flying in, they usually get rental cars and things like that, there's free parking on site. This will give you an idea of what a room at Sandpiper Bay looks like, okay? Um, now, Sandpiper Bay is not a luxurious resort. Our focus is on the activities. 
So this will give you an idea. I will say the rooms are very large um, and we have different types. This is a superior room, but we have different types. We have family rooms where this would be the, um, the parents' room and there would be a separate room for the kids. Oh, nice. Yeah. Par parents will like that. <laughs> Yeah. So again, we're very focused on our um, activities. I will say that um, one of the most popular um, sports that has just uh, erupted is pickleball. So at Sandpiper Bay, we have pickleball uh, uh, courts and very popular for pickleball groups. So if you're not nice. familiar with pickleball, um, it's, it's very, very popular, very popular. And we have the, the courts um, in honor properties to accommodate. Wonderful. And speaking of groups, you guys do accommodate groups at your uh, at your resorts as well oh, as absolutely. families and individuals. Absolutely. You mentioned we have, weddings earlier, so do you do destination yes. weddings at your resorts as well? Yes, absolutely. And, and, and clubs. Club Med, we, yeah, at Club Med, we only do one wedding a day. Okay, so um, there won't be like six weddings. At, um, uh, at the resort on a day, um, we do we do have great promotions for groups we offer great uh, like complimentary cocktail parties um you know there's a lot of um we can do team buildings with like the trapeze and things like that that um there's a lot of different activities and like for example this here is the um kids club the the pool at the kids club this is one of the most popular places at sandpiper <laughs> yeah so it looks fun <laughs> yeah it is you know and again a lot of measures are uh, taking place but especially with our kids clubs we have reduced the occupancy what we're um allowing the number of kids to go into each kids club so just um I want to reassure you because I'm hearing the comments, I'm hearing the feedback from my colleagues who have just got back um, and they are so impressed with what um, has actually um, happened with um, the resort. Well, that's wonderful to hear. Yeah, I'm excited to uh, invite travelers to get back to traveling and to know that they're, they're going to be safe and they're going to have just as good a time as ever. Absolutely, absolutely. And as I said, Club Med, we have over 70 resorts all around the world, in Europe, in Asia, um, you know, and uh, the North America properties were reopening the majority of them by uh, December. Wonderful. So thank you so much for sharing that. Is there any other words of wisdom that you would like to add before we go today? Yes. Anything else you want travelers to know? I want travelers to pick up the phone, call Anna and book a Club Med vacation. And if, you do, and if you do book a Club Med vacation with Anna, I'd be more than happy to um, throw in a little resort credit so you can go and enjoy the spa, you can go into the gift shop and get a, a lovely Club Med t-shirt. So, you know, uh, absolutely. Anna is a very experienced agent and um, ready to work with you. Thank you so much, Aideen. And thank you for all of your expertise on Club Med. And I'm excited um, to learn more. And if you have been inspired today, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified when we go live every week with new content. And this has been Anna's Travel Talk. And if you want to go to Club Med, send me a message below and I'm happy to work with you and get you on vacation. So thank you for watching. Until next time, have a great rest of your day. And thank you, Aideen. Really thank appreciate you. You, you coming by and sharing your information with thank our you for audience having me. today. Okay. Thank you for having me. You're absolutely welcome.